through a lifetime spent in the pursuit of knowledge, one question consumed me. How did our world come to be? The old ones perished a thousand years ago, triggering the extinction of all life. She showed me how it was reborn. A little outcast girl, ignorant of her own importance. Through her, I learned that life was only saved through a technological miracle. Zero Dawn. A terraforming system composed of nine subordinate functions. Each playing its part to reshape Earth from a barren rock to a lush landscape. Tended and protected by the machines. And with her, I learned the deepest secret of them all. The secret of her birth. That she is a clone of Elizabeth Subek, Zero Dawn's creator. Born to prevent a new extinction. Driven by Hades, a malevolent AI. Given sentience by a mysterious signal of unknown origin. And with a little help from me. She prevailed in a great battle at the city of Meridian. Becoming a champion for all humankind. But as useful as she has been, now, I must leave her behind. For as she strives to put right what Hades sundered, I have made a new discovery. One that heralds both destruction and opportunity. All right. Good morning, Twitch. My name is Alloway, and welcome to Horizon Forbidden West. I am extremely excited to play this game. I've, I'm a huge fan of the Horizon, I guess, games. Thus, would it be a series since it's only two games? I don't know. But, I love the first game, and I'm... Co-pilot. I don't know. I I love this game to a point where I even wrote a fan fiction at some point, but I never finished it. So now I'm excited to play this game. And I know those of you who've been keeping up with the streams lately will know that I wouldn't shut up about it throughout the course of <coughs> the week leading up to this. So now I am playing, I am happy. I probably should have face canned my reactions, but y'all know me. I don't react at all. And somebody's commenting. Who's commenting? Lord Ranger, welcome! <laughs> hey! <laughs> uh, I gotta get my laptop out now that you're here. <laughs> Assistance, minimal height information, look at the world to find your way. Got it. Uh, which one's the intended? <laughs> you know what? I hope I can change later, but if not, oh well. I gotta turn on my laptop while I'm playing this. <laughs> oh, I really should have face cam my reaction, but I don't react to anything. <laughs> Auto saves will take place frequently as you progress each quest step. Manual saves may be made at campfires. Oh, at least they kept that the same. Oh, I am trying really hard not to bust out the song and dance and whatnot, but... You know, I probably should have adjusted my safe zone. Pain! <laughs> oh, 
Oh, this looks pretty. I'm running out of time, Elizabeth. The land is dying. People are suffering. Soon, they'll starve. All because of a terraforming system that's spiraling out of control. <coughs> and only I can fix it. Only I have your genetic code. It won't be long before we hit the point of no return. And then... Extinction. I've been searching for months for what I need. A backup of Gaia. The AIU designed to control the system. I'm walking under a brilliant night sky, through a field of flowers. And when I arrive at the center, I see you, Elizabeth. Waiting for me, even though you've been dead for a thousand years. You're the closest person I've ever had to a mother. For a moment, I feel whole. But it never lasts. This world is your legacy, Elizabeth. I won't let it slip away. The valley below is my only remaining lead. My last hope to find the backup. I'll do whatever it takes to get it. I promise. <laughs> if it isn't Aloy, the savior of Meridian, anointed of the Nora. You know I hate being called that stuff. Well, consider it a punishment for running out on us the very same night we beat Hades. I grew up an outcast. Remember, I'm not much for parties. Yeah. That one was in your honor. Same. So... What are we doing? Must be urgent since you left so fast. Delving into ancient ruins? Or maybe it has something to do with the blight. Both, actually, but, um... I should... Oh, no. I've been tracking you a long way. It's okay. After everything you've done to help the Nora and my family, I swore an oath to help you. No matter what, you're stuck with me now. Like bark on wood. <laughs> God, please ship them at the end of this game, please. Okay, but if you're going to come with me, you'll need to be able to see what I see. <sighs> A focus. 
Never thought I'd get your second sight. I'll give you another one later and show you how to back up your data. Data? Information on the device. We've got a lot to cover. Um, I'll have to explain everything as we go. You see like this all the time? Since I was a little girl. Come on. Oh, this is great. <laughs> Shall we? Oh, I thought she was about to do a leap of freaking faith where she hops off and throws her grappling hook onto the thing. <laughs> All right, I got a couple of scrapes on the way here. We should find some medicinal plants, stock up. So it's time for your first lesson with the focus. Sounds good. Let's get started. I sort of got if I'm playing as VAR for the entire game. I actually wouldn't be that mad, but. These plants don't look like the ones in the sacred lands. The focus helps you see the ones we need. Oh. Ugh. Bitter? Yeah, well, at least they make you feel better. All right, we should keep going. Might want to grab more of these plants along the way. Yeah, good idea. Oh, so the focus is more of a pulse. Uh, I'm not sure I'm cool with that, but hey. At least I can still move in real time. Looks like Aloy still has part of her shield weave on, right? Is that her shield weave? Yeah, you can see pieces of it. Move the light. It's everywhere. Spreading, nothing will grow. That's where we have to fix it. Those ruins, that's where we need to go. I see a few ways down. What are we after exactly? A backup? Well, um, it's an AI. It's, um, Think of it like a set of instructions that can fix the world. Sounds complicated. <laughs> okay, so. You you're uh, traveling light these days. Yeah, I um, ran into some trouble on the way here. Lost a lot of my gear. Oh. Are you gonna jump? Go for a swim? Fastest way down. Oh, that's sick! <laughs> Alright, no, I'm gonna face cam this, because I, uh, I am smiling like a madman doing this. <laughs> God, why? <laughs> I feel like a little kid again. Looks like they left a carcass behind. It's another jump! Yes! I.
Someone took down his machine recently. Who else would come? I don't know. We better craft some arrows of our own. There might be trouble up ahead. There's some ridgewood by the stream. All right. Now to craft some arrows. Oh yes, this is complete throwback to the first game, and I don't object Done. at all. Me too. Arrows ready. There's a ladder, but can't reach it from here. Nothing a well-placed arrow can't knock free. Just have to target the lock. So I don't have the ability to um, put multiple After arrows you. in yet. So that'll change soon enough. Um, God, I'm gonna be so. What was the? Yeah. Most of the controls are fairly the same. So. What was this place? I don't know. The transmission. The uh, message I found didn't say. Only that a backup might be here. We need to find a way in. So, um, what happened after I left Meridian? Well, there was a fuss when people realized you were gone. <laughs> then some of us figured you only would have left if it were for something important. <coughs> you were right about that. Oh, standing in the blighted zone seems to hurt me. The blight's not just poisoning plants. It's killing animals, too. Then people will get sick, too. And starve. We're not gonna let that happen. <coughs> yep, yep, we gotta avoid standing in that. <coughs> It's infecting all the plants. It's changing them. If it keeps spreading, nothing will grow. That's why we have to fix it. Yeah, let's let me get out of it before it kills me too. Um, Ridgewood. It's something I remember from the first game. Pick up all the resources you can. Except for the ones that help make you make uh, resistance potions. I never use those. Huh. On an entrance to the ancient ruins. Looks like a dead end. Why can you jump up there and I can't? <laughs> Aloy, over here. Maybe we can get into the ruin this way. Oh, I'm certainly glad the game knows when I'm just dicking around <laughs> staring at the scenery. Light makes my throat itch. <laughs> Down this way. Oh. Get to the grass. Never seen one of those before. Me neither. That machines have it all alert. How do you want to handle it? The focus can help us. We can scan the machine before we make a move. Okay. Give it a second. Okay. See how parts of it are glowing? Those are its weak spots. Got it. Oh, okay, cool. It's I. It's a weak spot. Right. Oh, this is sweet. Okay. I'm ready. So I can pulse, and then I gotta hold it to activate the regular scanning mode. Okay. That is certainly a one-up. Uh. 
Oh, you're not. Oh, that's you engaging. Sound strike. Burrower. Take all, right, man. Good. A few supplies. Okay, concentrate. Oh, wrong button. Part watcher, part um what the hell is it called? Part um How does the focus know all that? It reads data on the machine. Like a hunter studying its prey? Yeah, kind of. So after the fuss over me leaving, what did everyone else do? Well, as soon as the celebration was over, my mother led the rest of the Nora home. The Sun King put his people to work rebuilding the city, and I set out to find you. Wow. Well, that's one way to continue the story, I guess. When I wrote my little fan fiction. Oh, never mind, I won't yammer on about that. There's a whole another story that's actually canon now, so. Also, I wrote my fan fiction just to ship these two together. So, obviously. Biased, but I am happy that these two are together. Like they, I don't know if so. I don't know if somebody else maybe wrote so and be like, you gotta put these two together. But I certainly think they're cool, cool together. But me having never been in any form of relationship, let alone a successful one, um, I wouldn't know. Did I miss something important? Um, Yeah, found my first one when I fell into a ruin. Got the others from an old cache not long ago. That's good to have extras. Oh, that's how she did. <laughs> cool. Found an old cache. That's one way of it. I wonder what that really means. Going into a ruin of the old ones. God has protect us. We'll be okay, Varl. This is the part where he tells us, by the way, most of these ruins are Through part here. of the guards. <laughs> Welcome to the Far Zenith launch facility. Far Zenith? I, I know they made some tech trades with Zero Dawn, but why would they have a backup of Gaia? Please register with reception for the tour. I guess they want us to check in with them. Please hold for identity scan. Access denied. Please wait here for personnel to assist you. Dr. Sobek. Okay. I guess they weren't on great terms with Elizabeth. <laughs> well, let's find a way in. That's an understatement. Should be able to pry this open. There's climbing gear. Guess someone dropped in from above. Whoever left this here might have also shot those machines we found earlier. So where are they now? To inventory. Oh, Ugh. what's that stench? Entire camp wiped out. They must have come here to delve for scrap. Acid. That explains the smell. And it looks like something big came in from above. Crashed right through the camp. Not through the wall. 
I should take a look at the rubble in that gap. Hmm. Whatever came through here brought this down as it went out. If I can dislodge some of the debris, we might be able to squeeze through. Maybe I can find something to help in the camp. Aloy, over here. I think I got something. It's some kind of Osram prototype, I think. This hook looks like it can latch onto things. And the scare pulls it back. Hmm. It looks broken, but maybe we can repair it. Hook it to the debris. And pull it out. That could work. The focus can help us search the camp and identify anything we can use to fix the tool. My focus picked up a couple of things to check out. Poor guy. Acid burned right through his armor. Training dummy. Oh. Satchel. A lot of supplies here. I guess they plan to stay a while. You know, I'll bet you. Machine this. cable. Stronger than rope. I'll bet you they have, um, there's probably a trophy in this to destroy fucking donuts. Or maybe I can't. Okay. Help. I feel like we have to run through the whole map and try to find like X amount of those. Machine could help fix the gears. All right. I think I have what I need to repair the tool, or maybe even make something better. You can Wait. use this workbench. Ah, green cash. Show water. <coughs> Oh, this is new. Polecaster. Craft. Accept. Okay. So I feel like upgrade there. system. Uh, polecaster. Now to test it on the debris. A polecast. <laughs> uh, you can tell they have no idea what to name shit, so they're just like, okay, it's it's a tool I can cast things with it, and it pulls back. So. Grappling hook. Well, this is it doesn't look like there's an easy way out of here. I should scan the area. We have to find a way to keep going. Oh, I might be able to get up there. Mm -hmm. huh. What's this thing for? Let's find out. What's this? Press the button. And it is my pleasure to introduce you to Far Zenith. Forget what you think you know about us. Our truth is simple. We say reach for the stars, even if you have to cross 8.6 light years of space to get there. Please proceed into the auditorium, where we'll unveil our plans. 
Wonder what's in this auditorium. Guess we'll find out. I don't think I can reach that ladder from here. Wow, that works. <laughs> that pole caster is useful. Too bad there's only one. Don't worry, I'll find you another way up. Okay, I am loving this. I'm getting mad Ghost of Tsushima vibes from this as well, because the grappling hook. Okay, I gotta drop the ladder for Varl. Alright, um, oh, that ladder. Okay. Lower the ladder. There you go, Marl. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Guess I was standing in your way. push the boundary as explorers, pioneers, trailblazers. And now Far Zenith is taking the next leap into the future. That's why we're proud to have resurrected the Odyssey. When our government's abandoned in orbit, Far Zenith will actualize in less than a decade. But that's only the beginning. When the ship is complete, we will send the Odyssey and her crew where no one's gone before. A serious system. There will create humanity's first off world colony. The Odyssey may take 300 years to reach it, but when we look up at the night sky, we'll know they're on their way. And in the words of our founder, the late Peter Chimbumbe, the truest form of immortality is data corrupt. <laughs> the playback stopped. The old ones could fly through the sky? Between the stars? Uh, well, yes, sort of. That ship, the Odyssey, it, it never made it to the other star. Something went wrong, and it blew up. Wow. Is that why Elizabeth gave them a backup of Gaia? For their colony? Error. Public presentation file corrupted. Member recruitment file available. Do you wish to reactivate? Yeah. Reactivate. Let's see what else they had to say. We all know the projections. Economic instability, new biocontagions, rampant AIs. How long before another catastrophe creates unacceptable risk for the world's elite? We here at Far Zenith believe, escape the inevitable. And so we reach for the stars. Now you've seen what we're building here. Infrastructure to support the Odyssey's construction. A state-of-the-art data center to facilitate rapid technological advancements. And you've seen how we're managing public perception. So invest and join us. 
Claim your birth on the Odyssey. Preserve your way of life beyond the concerns of Earth. Well, sorry <coughs> about the world ending. I just didn't know how. Yet. Hmm. So everything they said back there about the next step for humanity, it was all a lie. These people only cared about saving their own skin. Yeah, well, didn't work out for them in the end. That Oswald guy mentioned a data center. That's now sitting in the middle of the water. Oh, no, it's not. There. The backup. It should be stored in there. Won't be able to swim across. I guess we'll have to find a way around. Come on. Three of 23 data points. The wilds have really grown over this place. Imagine what it was like when the first lichen stepped up here. Show off. <laughs> Come on, Varl. I'm sure you and I both admire Aloy's ability to do all of this acrobatic Lara Croft stuff. <coughs> My focus might be able to help here. Was I supposed to scan? I don't know. It's probably supposed to let me know about something. Deeper into the creepy ruin we go. <laughs> creepy ruin. Sorry about that. My mom walked into the room and well, it is what it is. I don't think <coughs> up here. No way. Oh. Careful. Don't want those things to call in some friends from underground. Okay. You take the left one. I'll deal with the one on the right. Okay. To sneak up on it to take it out with my spear. Can't let it see me. <coughs> I should scan first. Check its patrol path. I mean, gotcha. <coughs> mine's down too. It'll work just as well if I let it see me and force it to investigate in my direction. <sighs> More of those machines ahead. Nothing you really can't handle. Yeah, come investigate your friend and die right next to him. Huh. 
or not. It doesn't matter. <coughs> Huh, well that was a large amount of uh, stuff on that one corpse. mention I noticed you have a new look these days <laughs> yeah I know <coughs> didn't have a lot of time to shave when I was trying to catch up to you don't worry it's not permanent good sorry my whiskers offend you anointed <laughs> oh <laughs> Too. Looks like this little guy got caught up in the blight. I couldn't escape. I hope it didn't suffer long. Ah, uh, you and me both. <laughs> well, they don't say something about the campfire. They're not going to say anything about the campfire. The Osram must have used explosives against the machines. They managed to get a couple. Hmm. Looks like there was a barricade here. The machines must have broken through. I'll keep this for later. Guess that Osram didn't have a chance to use it. Oh, I get it. Okay, so I guess those that end up going to my inventory I use to craft. Careful. Rather than Traps ahead. Huh. Might be able to disarm them. Might be able to? You know how to disarm them, Aloy. There. Managed to salvage some supplies. And not blow yourself up. Dismantled it. And got more supplies. Looks like another camp. While we're here, maybe we can make some traps of our own. Might come in handy against machines. Good idea. <laughs> yep, forgive me. I see these dummies, I feel like I got destroyed. We've only seen if we're lucky it's only gonna be just for like I guess what you'd call the tutorial part of this game otherwise I'm gonna be destroying these things whenever I see them don't ask me why I just press R1 and R2 like I saw in the second for honor okay now that my uh thirst for wanton destruction is um, satiated.
can use this. Okay. I should have what I need to craft a trap. Oh. Oh, that's nice. There. Explosive trap made. If anything walks into one of those, it won't know what hit it. Hmm. All right, up we go. Over <coughs> here, Aloy. I think I see a way up. I'm way ahead of you, Mark. I don't think they spotted us. Those look like scrappers. I've seen this machine before. A scrounger. It's new to me. Let's see where its weak points are. Maybe we could place one of those traps you made in its path. This legitimately looks no different from a scrapper. gonna come. Come on. I should probably take cover. There's no way to take cover. Okay, I can see a slight difference between it and a scrap. Either turn around or go go scrap your buddy. Come on. Hello there. We're clear. Let's keep going then. It's fun. I'm gonna forget so many of these systems. <coughs> <clears throat> I apologize, I'm also a little, uh... Um... They all have their secrets, but every place is different. I am, uh... Well, I'm not coming down with something, I am. At this point, I am down with something, but... <clears throat> Oh, <laughs> it's gonna come to the point where I am full on stuff and I just started the game. But that's good. <laughs> you need all the resources. Well, that machine we saw earlier must be on the move. It's gonna come this way, Aloy. Well, you know that. <laughs> storm picking up out there yeah and they're getting stronger and more frequent so the storms the blighted lands the rivers and lakes choked with algae you were born to fix all that yeah but i can only do it if i find that backup i think we're winding our way around to the data center <laughs> we'll need to cut through that big building on the right out there hey varl there's data here you scan it with your focus. Hmm. Hmm. This data mentions the tech that Farzina traded with Zero Dawn. Negotiations and concluded them. <clears throat> hmm. Hmm. <laughs> 
Doesn't explain how they got a backup. I'll keep an eye out for more data. What do you mean it doesn't explain? They Let's did a see. trade. Huh. A lot of glyphs. I'll tuck this away to study later. <laughs> Man, the amount of time it took for Aloy to learn how to read all read all of this. Looks like we've gotta climb up. There's a lot of climbing here, so if I lower this ladder... Oh, this is where we drop those two, uh, scrappers. Scrounders. Scrapper, scrounger... Excuse me if I'm gonna get them all mixed up. <laughs> this place is really falling apart. Well, it is a thousand years old. Thousand years old and overgrown, man. Hmm. Looks like some kind of meeting room. That door on the other side's locked. There's another one of those glowing things by the table. Onzu. Zero Dawn Terraforming <coughs> System, the brainchild of Dr. Elizabeth Sobek. Empowered by nine subordinate functions, Gaia, the core of the system, is capable of advanced planetary engineering, an obvious advantage to our space colonization efforts. Operation Phase One, establish an asset within Project Zero Dawn, status complete. Phase two, the asset will secretly beamcast a complete copy of Gaia and her subordinate functions to this facility's data center. If all goes well, Zero Dawn staff will remain completely unaware of the transmission. Risks. Discovery of this operation could result in Zero Dawn withholding the already negotiated Apollo database. Special care must be taken not to alert Travis Tate, the expert hacker in charge of Hades Protocol. In hmm. addition, Extreme caution must be exercised in regards to Dr. Sobek herself. As one of the world's preeminent technologists, she may have instituted unforeseen security measures. A complete assessment is attached. This concludes the executive summary. I thought Elizabeth sent the backup here, but she didn't. Far Zenith stole Gaia. Aloy? Why does that woman look like you? Uh, um... It's okay, bro. We... look alike because... we're the exact same. Genetically identical. But she was one of the old ones. How can you be her? Because I... wasn't <coughs> born. I was... made. By a machine. It's... why I'm motherless, why I was cast out as an infant. I don't understand. What kind of machine can make a person? Remember when I said the backup is like a set of instructions? It's more than that. It's called Gaia. And for a long time, she cared for the world until she had to destroy herself. So she made me <coughs> to bring her back. I'm the only one who can. And this place is my last hope. You once said the goddess spoke to you when you went into All Mother Mountain. Hmm. Was that this Gaia? Yes, but she's not the goddess, Laurel. There isn't one. How can you be sure? It sounds like she anointed you with a sacred task. <sighs> I've had a lot of time to figure this out. And you will too. With the focus, but for now, the report said they were going to store the stolen copy of Gaia in the data center. 
So that's where we have to go. Okay? <coughs> wow. Taking that ra rather calmly. Huh. Look at that. Aloy, over here. I found something you could use. Weapon. Thanks, Marl. We should keep moving. After you. Hey, Blastling. <laughs> Impact damage. Hey. I got a bigger weapon wheel now. Or do I? I hope I do. Hmm. Down here. Uh, what used to be stairs, I guess. Hmm. I think we're almost back outside. Good. <coughs> Direction we're going. <laughs> those machines. I could try out that new weapon on it. I can do more damage to it while it's brittle. It's already brittle, a gotcha. machine couldn't take the cold. <laughs> Neither could we. <laughs> More of the awesome Delvers. And a lot of acid. That big machine must have attacked as they tried to escape. They didn't stand a chance. So, you said this backup is the last hope. Yeah. All those places I've been these last few months. There were supposed to be more backups. But a thousand years ago, a guy named Ted Farrow purged them all. Was he part of Far Zenith too? No. He was worse. Looks like we can cross over here. That was not a put. Glad I didn't try to dive into. Oh, I've already forgotten the button to dive, honestly. So. I don't think that's deep enough to dive into. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Tell me this is not a skill I need to earn again. Yes, okay. Couple of skills that I'm uh, missing. Was it? No, it's fucking circle, isn't it? Hold on. Grab that, thank you. Okay. <laughs> I just think that's a cool little animation rather than um, just uh, kind of like, not really belly flopping, but like uh, when Aloy jumps, she just like bends her uh, knees in an effort to land on her feet. But um, in water, she kind of just plummets in like an anchor. Wow. That big metal thing looks like the ship we saw back in the auditorium. Imagine going up to the stars in that. Well, would have been nice if it worked. They're awesome. Machines tore right through them. These guys couldn't catch a break. This is a big expeditionary force, I'm gonna say that much. Machines patrolling ahead. 
We can tag them in the focus to keep track of them. Okay. How are you going to move, friend? Oh, I'm out of arrows. Okay, now how to get out of here? I will say this: I haven't played Machine Zero Dawn in a minute. Like, I remember doing some really cocky shit. Mm -hmm. There's a ladder in the back. In Zero Dawn, when I played it, just because I had an understanding of the um, controls and I had like a memory of how or how most of the shit went through so I could just do dumb things. So, so tell me something. Sona was really okay with you not going back to the Sacred Lands? As the Nora War Chief, she understood why I was obligated to follow you. But as my mother, she wasn't pleased. Is she ever pleased? I don't think I've seen her smile. Me neither. Well. Good to know that they kept with the uh, sto um, consistency with some of the characters. Because, um, yeah, Varl's mother is war chief of their tribe, but, uh, not an easy mother to please. Osram will never get through to the data center. There's no way to slip past them. Why? Okay. find a settlement convince some hunters to help us that would take weeks and we don't have that kind of time maybe hmm. all we need is that shuttle to fall hmm. that thing how we'll figure it out just wait here Aloy trust me and there she goes <laughs> just need to get over to the shuttle to figure out how to make it fall into the basin yeah, sorry about that again. My mother just walked into the room. At least my father has the courtesy to knock, but my mother not so much. If 
can make it to that tower, I should be able to find a way across to the shuttle. They're part watcher, part rock breaker, and part, um, uh, I think scrappers are the ones I can actually shoot, um, well actually no, part red eye watchers is the easiest I can think of. Hmm. I don't think I'm lucky enough to be able to drop these things with a single arrow. <laughs> you didn't see anything. Also, now you're dead. I wonder what, I mean, it probably wouldn't look that different because I'm, my TV isn't that great, but. I wonder what this game would look like if I had a PS5. I mean, this game looks nice, don't get me wrong, but... Imagine what this could look like on PS5. I was honestly hoping I would have one by now as well, but... I slept on a deal, and now that I wanted it, I, um... Don't have one. There. That ladder can get me up to the tower. What ladder? Oh, that ladder. Well, okay then, game. Jeez. Just not hitting with strong enough arrows? Or not strong enough, but with enough force? Okay, there's a rail up there. I think I can reach it if I launch myself off that grapple point. Oh, that's gonna throw me for a loop. Oh, I can hear the chanting. Well, that sounds good. From, um... Or kind of like the tribal chanting that was um, from uh, Zero Dawn, but they obviously remixed it for this game. Made it. Hey, hey Lord, it's no oh. different from jumping around a tall neck, right? <laughs> right. Can tower down. On to the next. Jump. There is a cable here. Maybe I can ride it to the other side. Uh... <laughs> oh. uh. Well, nowhere to go but up. Just barely holding together. Oh, come on, please. Yeah, my heart. <laughs> I don't know why it's getting my heart pumping. I bet there's a control console nearby. If I can release the clamps, the shuttle should fall right into the basement. So I'm gonna call it now. It's gonna kill two out of three, and significantly injure three. So I gotta finish off the last one myself.
Oh, I'm not in the bush. But at least he's coming this way. I don't have any rocks or freaking. Okay, that should have been a sound strike. I'll take the critical. <laughs> I'm also glad that nobody else heard that. Console might be in there. Okay. Up to yours, pal. <laughs> All right. Okay. Time to crush those machines down below. You know, say in real life, you would never touch any of this, but in games, you're just gonna press every button and see what happens. Look up seriously on Aloy's face up until the thing started. Oh, oh. The shuttle's caught up in those cables. No, nope. we're gonna have to climb the tower to find a way to disconnect them. Now, how do we get up the tower? I'd wager it has something to do with that elevator that just came down. Scanning with my focus could help here. If I pull that beam down, it might drop the access lift. Did that just... Oh, I do have my, um, focus and aiming and all that. I just don't have, um... I just don't have the ability to put- to knock most multiple arrows at once. Which I guess they took away just because it would make killing these machines real too easy. There, I'm getting the hang of this. And this is cool. Where am I going? Oh. Okay, the creaking doesn't sound good. I'm gonna have to detach those cables quick. Yes. I don't know why the sun is well. I'm having uh, probably because I recently been playing it, but for some reason. That connector is holding the cables together. It should break if I shoot it. One down. I just need to climb higher. Touch the second set of cables. Okay. Um. Oh. Scaling an ancient rickety tower with killer machines waiting down below. I was right. No turning back now. <laughs>
almost there. There's the other connector. All right, look out below. <laughs> you know, I don't... I don't think I've ever heard Baylor swear in all of this. Okay, I don't have very many options. Ooh. Watch out for that acid. Okay, that's not gonna work. Shit. I still got some fight left in me. Time slow isn't as slow as it used to be. that I drop as soon as I try to tumble. Close to hurting. Oh, he's close to dying. Excuse me. So. Hey, that's a bit inconsistent. I actually he's shot dead. off one of those things. Finally. The data center should be straight ahead. Farrell's gonna have to find another way there. Maybe it is high time I, uh, start using traps and things. I usually didn't use them in the first game. Oh, 
what's this one skill point I have? Oh. Okay, that's... Huh. Bigger skill tree. Car build up file to use are invalid through various. <coughs> okay, consume. Wow, I've got supers now, <laughs> or ultimates. Excuse me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say ultimates. Ultimate sounds cooler. But I was right, <laughs> I was, I'd kill two and have to finish the third one off myself. Okay, um... Onward. Once I get the backup, I can reboot Gaia, fix the system, heal the blight, restore Elizabeth's dream. But is it still there? Okay, I should find the server. Room. What's this one about? On the matter of Mr. Dalgard, he's been a valuable member of Farsi for years. Even Peter saw the need for a polished spokesman to preserve a non anonymity for the rest of us. We all new members recruit to increase funds for the Odyssey's expedited timeline. There's simply not enough berths on the ship to accommodate. Cuts have to be made, and let's face it, Oswald lacks the skill set for our future <laughs> aims. He'll tell if we exclude him, of course, so I'll have to give him a proper send off. But that doesn't mean that his useless must end. We have plenty of source field to generate a digital puppet. Giving us the means to data corrupted. Man. Corporate is, uh. Corporate world's a bitch, ain't it? Please be here. Gaia version 6.9. Initializing. Hello. Hi. Elizabeth? Travis Tate. Now, what's this we got here? A Farzan's conspiracy to steal a copy of Gaia? And her subordinate functions? Naughty, naughty. You want me to handle this, Liz? Blasphemers! Brood of vipers! With a mind oh, dear Lord. And smite and pour troubles upon you!
This ain't no copy of guy you stole, you losers. But it's the mother of all logic bombs. So good luck repairing your data. And next time you start thinking you can outsmart a tape, remember my solution. Please don't. Okay, cool. Could have been worse. <laughs> Aloy? The goddess. There is no goddess. I told you that already. That's not Gaia. That's not what I'm looking for. It's nothing but a fake. Understand the show, so Aloy is pissed off. I got it. For all... I'm sorry. You have a sharp bite sometimes, you know. But it was pretty amazing to see you fly off that tower and blow up the entire basin. The thing is, um, there's going to be more of that. <laughs> I'm out of leads. Farl. But I, I have to keep searching. And fast. And whatever risks I have to take, I will. And it doesn't make sense to have someone with me. Someone who might get hurt. This is on me, Farl. Nobody else. Hold on. Before, in Meridian, you said there was a man who helped you. Silence. You said you used to talk to him a lot about things you discovered from the old world, things no one else understands. And he gave you the lance you used to defeat Hades. He's gone, Varl. I haven't heard from him since the battle against Hades. Sure, but Spymaster Murad back in Meridian, he's good at finding people, isn't he? Varl, I... <sighs> Come on, it might work. Plus, you'll get to see some friendly faces again. <laughs> okay, I... I guess it's worth a shot. We've got a long walk ahead. Actually, I've got a better idea. <laughs> wow. That's what uh, the car, this Karja capital looks like now, and everybody. Oh wow! By the sun, it's true. She's come back. Bless us. The savior of Meridian has returned. You earned this welcome. You saved them. Not yet. In the name of the Sun King of Vard, a royal welcome for the champion. Big way. Oh my god. <laughs> Murad, Aloy has an urgent matter to discuss. Dashain, that makes two of us. I've sent forth hunters for weeks. The sun fall all the way to the sacred land, searching for you. Something happened at the spire. show you watch your step you saved us all to be sure but uh, we're still cleaning out the mess it happened right after the solstice we were able to explain it away thank the Sun otherwise it might have caused a panic Well, built a statue in her memory. One night for less than half a minute, 
glowed an angry red. From Meridian, it looked like a trick of the light. But those who were closer, atop the light, said it could not have been a reflection. Much to my dismay, they said the light rose up from the tower's base. And that... We left everything just as it was. What do you think happened? I don't know. The Spire's supposed to send out signals, messages, the terraforming system. But Hades tried to use it to wake up ancient war machines. I was sure I cut the connection to that thing. Wait here while I check it out. Let us know what you find. He did. Something was transmitted from the top of the spire. I guess I have to find a way up there. Wow. It starts with this. Uh, maybe I can jump to that ledge behind me. Back ejection. Uh. More back ejection, yes. While I'm precariously dangling, hanging from this um, beam is a perfect time to uh, go and. Looks like I can use my pull caster on that. Sure, why not? Oops. Should be able to get up there now. I thought Silence was helping me when he gave me his lance. Like he tricked me. He transmitted something through the spire. Did he save Hades? Why would he do that? Well, if I can figure out where he sent it, I can track him down. Hopefully, the transmission note at the top will tell me. Well, doesn't look like I can keep climbing this way. Panel's a jar. Can I go up through the inside? <coughs> Do I want to find out? Oh, yes, I can. An elevator? Let's see. Definitely an elevator. Engaging maintenance configuration. The whole thing is opening up. Wonder what the Karja will make of this. It's the sign of the end times! We must bring back the arena the 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 Sun Ring! I think that's what it was called.
brought back the sounds, the animations. God, this is one big nostalgia bomb. West. Well, Aloy, I see you finally figured it out. To be honest, I'm surprised it took you so long to discover my rules. You raped the lands to steal Hades. How could you be so reckless? Reckless? You're the one who tried to purge Hades before its precious knowledge could be extracted. <laughs> the mysterious signal that woke it, for example. But why don't take one of those guy backups you've been having such a hard time finding? If you knew, why didn't you just tell me? I've been having problems of my own these past six months, Eloy. The difference is, I've made progress. So once your anger at my entirely necessary deception has faded, now why don't you come out here and find me in the Forbidden West and learn all that I've discovered? Oh, I'll come find you. Yes. Well, the coordinates should make it simple enough. Even for you. All right, Commander Zavala. There's a there's so many things here. Uh, is that a statue of me? That's new. Just in case I don't get to explore this environment later. I guess I should be flattered by the statue. It feels wrong. Especially when my job's only half done. Yeah, uh, they they could have at least gotten the part with the um, uh, shield weave. I did have it by that point. Looks like a memorial. Honoring those who fell in the battle of the Elite. Lots of brave people defended this place from Hades. Machine carcasses. Remnants from the Battle of the Alight. This is. Oh, it's the. We're almost overrun by the machines Hades controlled. But we pushed through. Bellowbax! I'm sunk. Yes! <laughs> I probably just look at the trophy list to see if this is actually something I have to do, but I don't. But just in case. I'm just gonna destroy all the ones I can find and hope I can come back to it later. Oh. That's part of the Deathbringer we defeated. I remember you. This machine was the last line of defense for Hades. It dragged the orb up here and then nearly killed me, but... It's just a piece of scrap now. Yep. Okay, if that's all the stuff I can look at. Yeah, this whole tutorial is nostalgia bomb is all hell. <coughs> you went inside it, and it transformed, almost like the day of the battle. I 
can only be grateful that it's a stormy day. Few will have seen the tower change from Meridian. What did you discover? Hades. The danger didn't end here. It went into the Forbidden West. And I have to follow. I see. But that can be difficult. The West is called Forbidden for a reason. A tribe of ferocious warriors controls much of it. The Tanakh. And they allow no trespassers past its border. That said, under the Sun King of Art, a fragile peace has been negotiated. And <laughs> indeed, the next embassy will take place in a day or two on the edge of the frontier. Were you to attend the gathering under his auspices, the Tanakh might grant right of passage instead of hunting you and attacking on sight. Great, just what I need. More killers. Ah, the Sun King. Hey. Eli, it's good to see you. You left in such haste. We never had a chance to properly thank you. Can, can we show the champion the spear now? Please? It's a min. Quiet. It's true. We bear gifts. Decorum usually calls for a ceremony of offering at the palace. But I thought you would prefer a less formal occasion. Bring them, please. Uh, Avad, this is all very kind, but I... Uthit. Vinasha. Quick. Better hand them over before she runs off again. <laughs> really? Must you? Try it on. That's beautiful. On behalf of all the citizens of the Sundom, may these tokens remind you of our eternal gratitude. Ah, oh, she's blushing. Perhaps you'd like to spend more time with your friends. Come speak to me when you're ready to depart. <laughs> if I get to visit, like, all the people from the original games, I will be happy. But I don't I think I'll to get to- I to attach the Master Override to my new spear. Savior. Should Welcome be a workbench around here I can use. Okay, um, can I? Can I leave? <laughs> Asram is born with a hammer in their yeah. what a car to I cannot leave. <laughs> okay, um, well this sucks. I would love to see Talana again. Is it Talana? Talvana? The Sunhawk of the Hunter's Lodge. The sculptor wanted something even bigger. Twice the size. Covered in gold and jewels. But I was quite certain you wouldn't appreciate that. You were right. I'm sorry, Avad. It's good to see you, but I can't stay long. I see. I had hoped you'd remain in the city for a time. Perhaps at the palace. Meridian's still in danger. But it's bigger than that. To put things right, I have to go west. To Nox territory. By the sun, the Tanakh? Well, perhaps Murad already told you, but after years of hostility, we've negotiated a truce in hopes of a lasting peace. Another embassy will be held in just a day or two. <laughs> it's the dialogue wheel! Why am I so happy about something so minor? I don't know. <laughs> when you say years of hostility, I assume you mean the Red Raids? Ah, yes. My favorite subject. I wouldn't ask if I didn't need to know. As you know, my father raided all the border tribes. 
The Hasaram, Banuk, and Nora suffered greatly, resisting as best they could. But none fought back like the Tanakh. They hmm. rose up and assaulted our western front of barren light, sweeping us from their lands. Getting them to talk to us again after that was tricky. How did you get the Tanakh to talk again after the war? The same way I got you to talk. By giving gifts. <laughs> the Tanakh like tiaras? <laughs> More like metals, spices, and relics looted during the fighting. We've met with them on several occasions, and the gifts seem to have eased the tension. But this coming embassy is the most important yet. The best sign we've had so far that the Tanakh want lasting peace. What makes this coming embassy so special? Well, just like today, it is special because of the guest. Our delegation will meet with the Tanakh just outside Baron Light. We'll give them treasure, and they'll return a prisoner. Kashav, one of our finest soldiers. Soldier? Don't you mean raider? No, not in this case. Fashav is my cousin, nothing like Helis and his ilk. He joined the Western Expedition with the hopes of reining in certain excesses. But he was captured during a heroic defense of our forward base at Cinnabar Sands. Hmm. And has been held ever since. Your cousin, Fashav. How long has he been a Tanakh captive? Five years. Tanakh emissaries swear he is well, but I wonder. That tribe is renowned for its brutality. How did he survive? Well, I'll know soon enough. If you see him before I do, tell him that I await him in Meridian, where he belongs. If I see him, I will. Edelman looks happy. You got him out of Sunfall. Any happiness he has, he owes to you. He's turning into a fine young man. Which he'll need to be if he's to inherit the crown. Wouldn't the crown go to a son of yours first? Yes, well... I'd have to get married for that to happen. Please stop. God keeps throwing noble matches at me. But I find I'm always... Trying to make them into someone they're not. At any rate, I never aspired to the throne, and I don't wish to sit there forever. When Edaman comes of age, I hope to step aside. Free of the crown. I might finally be able to travel the world. Who knows? Perhaps even accompany you on one of your adventures. You make it sound easy. Time I, to go. Uh, I need to get going. Uh, one moment, Aloy. There's something I must ask you. Since you left, I've thought of little else. This isn't really the time. But it has to be. The way you left before, there's no way to know when I'll see you again. I'm not trying to stop you. Or hold you back. But I need to know. When your mission is over, will you return to Meridian? And stay? long enough for us to spend time to get to know each other properly perhaps flashpoints are yes how Alex was you know what I want to put Aloy I want to put Aloy and Varl together. So let's see how this plays out. Uh, Avad, the, the situation calls for a, a higher perspective. The threat I'm facing endangers not just Meridian, but a lot of other places too. A lot of innocent people. What happens between us, it's not important. At least, not yet. You're right. I'm acting like a fool. 
It's supposed to be the king who calls for a higher perspective. Please accept my apology. And my wishes for your success. Goodbye, Aloy. As always, our hopes ride with you. Dowager Queen Nasadi. Blessed champion. Itaman, what do you say? My humblest thanks to you, great champion, for delivering my mother and me from Sunfall, and for defending our holy city against the forces of shadow. Did I say right? You said it fine, Edmund. And you're welcome. Champion, will you teach me how to shoot like a real machine hunter? Itamen. I, uh... I have to go on an important mission, Prince. To save the world? Something like that. But when I come back, I could give you a few tips. It would be an honor. <laughs> we owe you our lives, champion. And we will not forget. May the sun light your way. Watch out for Thunderjaws, champion! If only those were the biggest things I had to fight in. Did Vanasha and... Um... I can't remember what the, the soldier. I'm sorry, I can't remember the soldier's name. Did they leave already? I guess they did. What's what the? Okay. Yes, there's another. Oh no, that's just to modify the spear. Everything's just the way you left it. There. We made sure. The workbench. We can talk to these two. Uthid. Uthid. Fanasha. Thanks for being here. Wouldn't miss it, even if you did leave us hanging after the big battle. Vanasha, stop. She's here now, isn't she? For the moment, but I see that look on her face. She's got business to attend to, and it isn't in Meridian. You know, I didn't vanish before because I wanted to. I had- No, Huntress, please. You don't have to justify yourself to us. You saved our butts. If you've gotta go, go. With our blessing. Always. You both look like you're doing well. Mr. Shiny Pants here is now the Sun King's senior military advisor. That means people actually have to listen to him talk? May the sun bless their sorry souls. At least I say something of substance every once in a while. What was that? I just fell asleep while you were talking. And how about you, Vanasha? I've been looking after Nasadi and Edaman, two parts bodyguard, one part... Bad influence. Huh. I was gonna say nanny, but I like your version better. Ah, these two. I never pictured you as a nanny. Edaman must be special. Hold on now. I'm not entirely domesticated. Nasadi was the mad Sun King's wife. She has enemies. I've had to foil a plot or two. Right. You can try to hide it, but inside, you're as soft as a silk pillow. Oh, you have no idea. Huh? Oh dear. Uh, <laughs> we were talking about Edaman? Yeah. Okay, I admit it. Edaman's cute. He's fun. And he looks up to me. I like him. Except when he forgets to wash his hands after hooking worms in that muddy garden behind his solarium. Blech. <laughs> uh. It's been months since I was in Sunfall. What's become of the Shadow Karja? <laughs> After you wiped out the Eclipse, there were hardly any priests or officers left to terrorize the little people. Abad offered amnesty to all who were forced to serve the Shadow. So the commoners cleaned out the Citadel and handed it back to him. <laughs> the Sundom was unified. Avad wanted Uther to take command of the garrison there, but Captain Cudley here refused. Rumor has it that he wanted to stay close to me here in Meridian. <laughs> That's nonsense, of course. <laughs> <sighs> well, I, I know. I know. You're out. Go! Away with you. Always an honor, champion. <laughs> Always a pleasure. But please, little Huntress, come back someday. 
and tell us about your adventures. If I can't get in trouble, at least I can hear about yours. <laughs> that is... Oh, the nostalgia, man. Okay, master override installed. Plus, something new to store up and release energy. A uh, resonator should help in a fight. All right, with that, I guess I'm heading up. Well, I would have liked to have seen Talana too, but it is what it is. Aloy, are you finished with your friends, or do you need more time? No, it's time to head out. I better get going. And if I'm headed west, it sounds like I'll need rite of passage from the Tanakh, as you said. Where exactly is this embassy going to be held? Past the Dawns, the canyon that marks the western border of the Sundom. You'll find the fortress of Baron Light at its farthest edge. The embassy will take place just beyond its gates. It's a long march, a fortnight on foot. A couple of days hard riding should get us there. Actually, it might be better to rest here tonight. Head out in the morning. Of course. I'll arrange it. Please, let's just go hang out in the Hunter's Lodge. Oh no. This is, uh... Oh, come on. You're seriously gonna... Well, at least I got that part right of the character as well. She didn't want anybody else to get hurt for her responsibilities. the difference now the best part's gonna be they're showing off all the old machines from before but I feel like I'm not gonna have any uh, I'm not gonna be fighting any of them in this new land rock breaker Also, seriously, where's Aloy riding? It looks like she's riding through the entirety of the first, uh, of, like, the first game. But none of, none of these areas are, like, linear. They're all in, like, a circular direction. Oh 
It's been a long time coming. Sparks to steal. <laughs> Never seen anyone use one of those to get around. Is that how I get to Baron Light? Uh, yes, I mean, usually, but not today. Uh, not yet. And why is that? Well, the Daunt. The whole valley. It's infested with machines. I can handle machines. Oh, I'm sure you can, but uh, I'm under strict orders not to operate until the whistle down at Chain Scrape sounds the all clear. Look, I didn't come all this way just to stand around and wait. I'll crank that car down myself if I have to. Well, but then... Who would crank it back up? <laughs> fine, fine. <laughs> Though, should anyone ask, it might be best to say you forced me. Hey, it's one of those, uh, I've I never been smoke, on... smoke, but not a lot of activity. Smoke's probably coming from something the machines wrecked. As for the quiet, well, there's a work stoppage in effect because of all the fuss. What sort of machines are causing the trouble? <laughs> Nasty ones and lots of them. Bristlebacks, they're called. Strangeness is... They're not native to the dodge. Just showed up all of a sudden. No hunters to kill them? Oh, we've got hunters, just none that want to cross Olvent. Boss of Chain Scrape. He is self appointed. Work stoppage was his idea. Yeah, well, I'm just passing through. Got an embassy to attend. You should have said that ain't gonna happen no time soon. What are you talking about? Hear that? That's your answer. Who is that? Karja Sun Priest. Cranked him down yesterday, about an hour before the machine trouble started. He's a very important man, or so he says. That embassy at Baron Light? He's the one supposed to run it! do as I say immediately, the Sun King himself shall hear of your insolence. Thanks to you, I was forced to spend the night shivering in the tent. Exposed to attack, I might have died. Oh, me you refuse to transport, but not this... this... what? This Nora girl? This savage? Excuse me? Aside, Scallywag. Wadis, that's Aloy. Studious Wadis. Aloy? You know, savior of Meridian? Really? Well, that lessens the insult, I suppose. I came here for the Embassy of Baron Light. We are here, and so did you. Well, not with the valley infested. And so did Aramon proclaim the Sun Priests most precious and worthy of safekeeping. See, Scripture. I shall head to Baron Light when the captain of the Vanguard tells me the way is clear. And not a moment sooner. Fine. Captain's a friend of mine, you know? Where is Erend? Wouldn't mind speaking to someone a little more action, a little less scroll. <laughs> Wadis. Studious Wadis. Studious. Wadi sent Aaron and another vanguard out at daybreak to clear the way. And so at daybreak. Hey! Shh. <sighs> Down the valley then? Yeah. Said they checked the ruins on the left bank for tracks. Take it from there. Okay. I hear there's a work stoppage. Any way to upgrade my gear? I'll bet the Smith and Chain Scrape would let you use his workbench. As for the bristlebacks, you might want to craft some acid arrows. Hitting their canisters with those will take them down quick. Thanks. I'll find Aaron and I'll bring him back. 
Hey. Where do you think you're going? What, to the top of the ridge. To wait in safety. Sorry. Operators under strict orders. No passengers till the whistle blows, right? That's right. <laughs> Best start cranking. <laughs> Why? Why? Jorf, would you kindly escort Studious to Chain Scrape and wait for me there? You got it. I will find Erend, and I will help clear a path. But after that, no more excuses. Baron Light. Embassy. If such be the will of the sun... <laughs> it will be. Trust me. I gotta find Erend. But it might be good to hit Chain Scrape first and upgrade my bow. Commander's mandate. My mandate of commander is all residents of the Daunt are hereby. None are allowed passage or the way until further notice. No exceptions be made regardless of clan, house, or tribe. Huh. Well. Wow. The map is certainly more what's this way? Lengthy than the first map. Fanghorn. Fire of Fanghorn site. Looks like a lantern. Scary rare person. Well, I'm glad I'm not the only one who thinks so. Do I still have the ability to do aerial attacks? Oh, that didn't work out quite as well. Definitely not a lanthorn. Lanthorns, I'm pretty sure I can drop in one hit. There we go. 
It's all coming back to me, slowly but surely. I am kind of sad that they don't, um... Allow me to launch multiple arrows at once. Okay. I need a way up. Or perhaps a way down. What is this over here? There's nothing for my pole caster to latch on to. Alright. I might need something for later. Or from later on in the game that... So... Or... What not. Unless... I'm not trying to... Well... This is certainly not the way, is it? No, this isn't how I'm supposed to get there because there's... I just slide down the slope here. Or not. Finally slid down the blasted slope. What is up here? I don't know, but I am kind of just wasting time here. So it's probably like either a tunnel or something that I'm maybe missing. Wait, is that a pig? Yes, it was.
there's a underwater cave here. Guess I am not doing the main story anytime soon. I mean, let's face it, me and open world games. The story is pretty much the last thing I'm going to do. That's a thing. Glowing crystal. A gemstone. It's green like Blaze, but it's... Hard and shiny. I wonder if merchants would be interested. Piece of green shine, a rare and valuable resource. Can all those <coughs> upgrading certain weapons and outfits or trading with sweet merchants? There's something around this corner and I want to know what it is. Just because I don't want to come back here later. If I find a cauldron right from the get-go, I am going to laugh. Oh boy. I since... Smoke. I wonder where it's coming from. Okay, I sincerely hope that, um... Well, there's a quest here. Miners. Looks like they're in some kind of trouble. Everyone got out, right? No? I am getting I think that's the foreman. I promise. I should check in with him. <sighs> you good? I'm okay. Thank you, Corvin. Corvin? Not... not now. Uh, uh, Easy. Whew. What happened? Explosion in the mine. The water flooded the whole place. I, some of my guys are still... They're still down there. I can't, I can't stop. You've done enough. Are you hurt? I'm... I'll live. The others. Please. I need to know exactly what happened. We use controlled blasts to open up new veins in the mountain. One of them must have gone wrong. I can't... I have to go. 
How many are still down there? Corvent, how many? Uh... Two. Two, I think. Two more. I'll do what I can. Appreciate a leader that cares for his men and not just the, um... Gotta find those two miners. Quick. There's a ton of question mark crap in this tunnel. Ooh. Do I have to pull that into the water? I guess I need to pull that into the water then. So it looks like I can grapple to it, or not grapple to it, but. is blocked so I should probably not have to come here. Okay. Then I should focus on getting the people out. And then I'll figure out where the hell I'm going. sent me. Are you hurt? Uh, my leg. I... I was a little too close to the blast. What happened? We were blasting in the farthest tunnel. But the scaffolding didn't hold. It collapsed. I... I think it blocked the drainage shaft. Water started flooding the place as quick as I drink ale. I barely managed to drag us here. So something's keeping the water inside the tunnels. What are you thinking? I've got an idea. Are there more explosives? Are you crazy? Yeah, should still be some up top, but you'll need these fuses. Are you crazy? You can't move, and I'm not leaving you. It's not like she can make things worse. <laughs> Don't go anywhere. <laughs> I need to find whatever's blocking that drainage shaft and blow it sky high. <laughs> it's not like she can make things worse. <laughs> You have no idea, pal. You honestly don't. Oh. <sighs> Made it. There's the debris blocking the shaft. If I can reach those explosives upon that track, maybe I can blast through the blockage. There's a little, there's a, like a tight rope here. So I come here. Not a whole lot around that can help me. Hmm. 
mean, those are clearly shit I can grab. Them. So it's this, and I'm just blind. I'm also not sure if this is the right way. Is this where I'm supposed to go? Well, I gotta go on top of this, and there no, seems to be no way around on this side, so. Maybe I can swim past him now. Certainly not like Room. I should follow those tracks. See if they lead to the explosives. I need to find a way up to those explosives. Well, I knew that was something I could find. Acid trap. Hitting enemies with acid will build up to the corroding state. Once in the state, an enemy's armor takes and uh, has reduced damage resistance. Certainly not the way. There we go. 
a lot, a lot less stuff confusing my HUD. So now where do I go from here? Honestly, my stash, my inventory is full. <coughs> so what am I missing here? That'll do it. Let's see where this leads. <coughs> Chest? Yes. So this is the way I'm supposed to go? I guess, or do I just walk in a giant circle? There's the explosives, up on the track. Just need to get across somehow. try to put an emphasis on the focus and I get it the focus is a very useful tool for you to read your environment but you've also got your eyes man attention. Knocking down machines is a little, is a lot easier. Let's go check on those miners. Okay. She's so dead. We don't know that. What's up, gentlemen? 
like everyone's okay. <laughs> I can't believe we're not gonna die. You're telling me. <laughs> Man. You did it. I thought you blew yourself up. Are you two okay from here? I can get this idiot down. Don't you worry. Thanks, kid. I can get this idiot down. <laughs> I'll see something up. Know his men are all right. I would be like, yeah. So if that were me and Mark, I'd be like, you know, I can get this doof out of here. Don't worry about it. He'd be like, who are you calling a doof? You, you doof. Okay. Out we go. I found the two you mentioned. They're safe, but could probably use a hand. Is that everyone? <sighs> it is. I dread to think what would have happened if you hadn't shown up. I knew we were blasting too much, but the man who staked the claim here, Ulvent, uh, he kept pushing and pushing me. I tried to shield my crew from his constant demands every damn day. I... I should have been stronger. You were there for your crew when they needed you. That counts for something. Ulvent can threaten me all he wants. I am not letting my people back into those mines. Will you be all right? Yes. I can take it from here. You are owed, Huntress. Thank Old you, Huntress. His name keeps coming up. I'll see the last two make it out. Good. Sooner or later, someone's gonna have to deal with him. Thank you, Huntress. I'll see the last two make it out. Fill my path with these later. All right. Well, another unknown over in this direction. What's this? Unknown shelter. Upgrade items, save your game, or change the time of day. This is your stash. You found in every settlement as well as many other locations throughout the world. When you gather items beyond you are individually or restock all your resources by holding square. Upgrading pouches to the workbench, you can increase your carrying capacity. I'll have to find a cauldron out here to learn how to override that. Oh, I can't wait till I can whistle and draw enemies to me. I just don't remember what... Actually... No, no. Um... <coughs> I have to look through all the skill trees. There's a lot of skills I can have, though. Weapon upgrades? I guess I'm not buying new weapons. Aw, uh, Aloy, you lost the power source for that. Damn it. 
Touch upgrades. Scrub. Oh, dear lord. Now they're putting purple rarity shit. Well, in the old days, it was purple rarity, wasn't it? <laughs> Felt like it sometimes. Special gear. Is it worth upgrading these? Will I find better ones? I don't know. I don't wanna... Let's see. It seems like I can um, get more stuff, so... I'm not sure. Yet. Huh. I'm cool with this actually. This is. I like how they redid the. Uh... Y'all really gonna bother? Bother me at my shelter? Anybody else want one? Or want some? Oh. I gotta deal with them later. <coughs> There's a boar. How do I get up there? Put four rich wood stocks right here. Grab it out. Okay. There's an old watchtower at the top. Looks like the path out broke a long time ago. I'm gonna have to climb. Well, I'm glad they did this. Less uh, painted rocks that uh, kind of um, <coughs> break the um, what's what am I looking for here? It just looks out of place. There 
There we go. I <coughs> took the words right out of my mouth, Aloy. There we go. Where I'm not frickin' some it. kind of device. The metal reflects the sun. Send a signal. <coughs> Looks like some kind of lens. Guess I'll keep it for later. All right, down we go. <coughs> it's no different from when we uh, from the original game. That didn't kill me. Probably a lot more stuff around here I can find, but This brings back fond memories. <coughs> okay, it's circle the break. I've been seen. I do kind of like, for a moment I saw the motion blur that comes from... It's a dead machine. And what the must be chain scrape. Drew said I could get my bow upgraded in there. Might be able to tinker with my other gear too. Ground soaked with acid. Some facts to this. Outlander approaching. I should dismount. That's the savior. Want to come in, savior? Oh boy. Welcome to Chain Scrape, savior. Open up, guys. Jorah's orders. Good enough for me. Well, that was easy. By the forge. Petra? Petra? Aloy, what are you doing here? Uh, about time there was something worth looking at in this dump. It's nice to see you too. And not a moment too soon. Come on. I... <laughs> Damn brewery's the only thing I can count on in this place. Yeah, I heard. 
Machines, work stoppage. Oh, those are just the latest malfunctions. Chain scrape's <laughs> always been a few tools short of a kit. And right there is the biggest tool of all. Our land, not our problem. The bristlebacks are everybody. Roland, you've heard of him. Yeah. But he's a story best told over a cold beer. Uh, Petra, Petra. I'm just passing through. I'm headed west. Oh. There's an embassy at, at Baron Light I need to make happen, and then I keep moving. Ah, of course. Bigger gears to grind. Well, Flame Hair, good to see you. You gotta move on. Petra. But if you want a cold beer and a few laughs with an old friend, come find me at the brewery. Your choice. Well, this old one guy sounds like trouble. Maybe Petra could use some support. But first things first, I need to find that workbench and upgrade my bow. Okay. Stitcher. Can't really do anything right now. Workbench is free if you need to tinker with that gear. I don't really want to upgrade these if I'm going to get replacements, though. Yeah. Thinking of upgrading that gear? Workbench is all yours. All right, fine. Let's sink the resources for the first upgrade. Well, I could fully upgrade this right now if I wanted to, but I have to get to get the call. I gotta fully upgrade it. Ah, the heck with it. When viewing weapons and inventory, I find quotes. Till Elvin blows that whistle, no one's working yeah. out. This should be useful. <laughs> now I just need to find Aaron and help him clear the bristlebacks. Oh, that's my ride. Okay. Oh, so I can go to a campfire and go from fire to fire. That that's helpful. Side here, Elvin. The bristlebacks threaten us all. Oh, drop the act. We all know it was the Carja who let the bristlebacks into the valley. Sent them straight through the gates of barren light. That is preposterous. Why would we let dangerous machines into our own land? You, you mean the land that honest Aldrin laborers work tirelessly with no say in its governance? The land that should you sign the decree? Oh, you and that damned concession decree. Would be managed by the people who actually live and work on it. What do you want, Aldrin? Some kind of payment? My dear magistrate, you think I can be bought? If you want that whistle blown, all you have to do is have your soldiers remove the bristlebacks and sign the concession decree. Face it, what other choice do you have? <clears throat> Hi. <laughs> Savior, what auspicious timing. Might we discuss a matter of importance to the Sundom? We might. Later. Very well. I shall be waiting. So, the Savior herself. Walloper of Durval, gutter of youth. Uh, maybe. I've heard many tales of your beauty and heroics, my fierce lady warrior. Olvent Freehold, at your service. So, what could have dragged you away from the fine silks and wine of Meridian to this smudge of a settlement? Your saviorly attention must be needed elsewhere. 
I'm here for the embassy and the embassy. Why, well, uh, by the forge. Ah, greater gears for greater matters. Guess that means you'll be moving on. Once I've dealt with any problems around here that need my saviorly attention. Ah, the bristlebacks, of course. Got to get rid of them if you want that embassy to take place. Well, best get to it, hey? And off you go. Not so fast. Mm. You don't seem to have a high opinion mm. of the magistrate. Well, I refuse to play nice to some fancy-robed parchment pusher when my fellow laborers are being bullied, intimidated, and taken advantage of. How noble of you. Noble? Ha! Born with a hammer in hand, I was. Nobody handed me anything or dropped opportunity into my lap. Everything I've achieved, I've done on my own. And where is this hammer now? The, uh, burden of leadership forced me to set it aside. Bullshit. The Carja risk nothing mm. while demanding that good Osram gamble with their lives out there. Someone had to step up and say no more. You ordered the work stoppage? Indeed I did. We're laborers, not soldiers. Until the Carja clean up their mess and give us the fair deal we deserve, I'm not risking Osram lives. Fair deal? You mean your concession decree? <laughs> it's not my decree. It's on behalf of all the good Osirum laborers of this land who do all the backbreaking work while only the Karja reap the rewards. All we're asking for is the ability to share in this prosperity for a land worked by the people for the people. Right. And just how much would be your share? Only an amount appropriate to my contributions to this community. Oh, of course. Of course, of course. Of course. If Chain Scrape is on Karja land, shouldn't a Karja be in charge? Who appointed you? The sensibilities of good Osram folk, of course. You think a Karja can head this whole venture? Ha! Ah, the magistrate can barely make the trek from Baron Light without losing a few screws. So you have no real authority then. People only follow you because you say so. Loudly. Fair Anyone enough. who has followers <laughs> has authority. I've been with Chain Scrape from the beginning. I mean, I'm practically its founder. And it's honest folk know I'm indispensable to its success. Seriously. You said you founded Chainscrape. Somehow I doubt that. Practically founded, I said. I alone saw its potential when it was just a smattering of tents in barren light shadow. I invested in the mine, convinced some friends back home to do the same, and here we are. You could say Chainscrape is what it is thanks to me. Oh, so you're not just standing around and profiting off everyone else? Not at all. Sure, I make a little return on my investment here and there, but my main priority, as it was from the <laughs> beginning, is to look after the well-being of these honest, working Osram. Where's the whistle? Right in the middle of town, but with the threat out there, I'm not endangering innocent Osram lives. I'm going to clear out the bristlebacks, and when I'm done, this valley is going to get moving. If that's what it takes. Until then, I'll keep looking after the safety of these good folk. Just be ready to blow the whistle. Better see what that Karja magistrate wanted. I bet he's in the tavern. Well, let's pick up this other quest too while I'm here. Hey, Mildef. Mildef. I took some of your stew last time I went into the wild. It kept me going for a week. Felt like I could have put a strider in a sleeper hole. Enjoy it while it lasts. Sounds like you're serving up some uh, impressive provisions here. <sighs> Not again. You can have the discount too, but you'll have to come back later. I think you have me confused with someone else. Oven. Didn't send you? No. Oh, my apologies. It's just that his minions won't stop pestering me. <sighs> now I've even worn out my special grill. Since I'm in the midst of a crisis, perhaps you could skip to what it is you wanted? Some of your food? Oh, of course. 
Are Alvin's people causing you problems? Oh, yeah. They constantly demand my best, but the equipment I need to make my signature dishes isn't built for batch cooking. And don't get me started on the Olven discount they feel so entitled to. And if you refuse? I make meals, not trouble. How did you end up in Chainscrape? Heard about a new and upcoming town at the edge of the frontier. Where there's a town, there's a tavern. I was in need of work. So I got myself out here and started cooking. Some of these people had never tasted proper boars and berries stew before. Anyway, next thing I knew, people kept coming back. Guess they liked my food. More than ale. Your last customer mentioned your cooking really kept him going out in the wild. Where I'm headed, I could use some of that. I would be happy to oblige, especially since you have the decency to ask pleasantly. But... But my special group griddle is no more. Without it, I can't cook any of my signature dishes. I hate to think what'll happen when I'm forced to refuse Olven or his goons. Even if I already had the right ingredients, there's nothing I can do. Unless you can source me a temporary replacement? <coughs> what do you need? For the ingredients. A few pieces of decent wild meat, and I'd say a big handful of bitter leaf stems. That'll do. As for the griddle, a corrugated metal panel might suffice until I can have a new one forged. You'd likely find one in the scrounger pile if you follow the river to the northeast. Don't worry, I'll clean it first. <laughs> You'll have no issue finding boars and bitter leaf on your way, assuming you're as much a hunter gatherer as your clothing suggests. Thanks, Mildef. I'll keep an eye out. So that's what gratitude sounds like. And don't let anyone push you around, okay? If you say so. I'm not even out of the first town over yet. Just need to grab a metal panel from the scrounger pile. Aloy. No one Save wants to play strike. No? Anyone? Ah, come to revel in some strike, sister? Let me set the board. I was just passing by. I. Mmm, first timer, huh? Don't worry about it. I'll go easy on you. You got any pieces? Uh, no. Well, aren't you in luck then? I got an extra set. A Tanakh original straight out of the Forbidden West. Sit, 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 sit. I'll run you through it in a hot spark. I'll give you something special if you win it on my boards, too. Oh, no. This doesn't look like just a regular game of chess, is it? So. Oh. All right. Start. Let's start off simple. The Tanakh like to say that machine strike is a game of pure strategy. We each get a set of pieces. Each piece represents a kind of machine. And each machine is worth a different number of victory points. And to win the game, you'll need to gain seven victory points by destroying the opponent's machines. It can be tricky remembering the details of every machine, so we use these notes to keep track of them. You see that number on the top right corner? That there is how many victory points you'll get for destroying that machine. Notes also tell you how far a piece can move, how powerful their attacks are, the distance they can strike from, and of course, their health. Okay, that's enough for now. Let's just play. I'll explain the rest as we go. I own the board, so I get to choose who goes first. Since this is your first time, I'll let you go. Usually you get to choose which pieces to set on the board, but this will do for now. Pick up that machine piece to your right mm -hmm, and move it forward. It's kind of like chess. Remember, each machine can only move a certain distance. Take a look at your notes if you need a reminder. That's kind of like Easy chess enough, and huh? strategic at the now, same time. You get to move two machines each round, so go ahead and pick a second machine. 
perfect. There's not much else to do for now, so just end your turn. We're forging onwards. Let me move my pieces here. And we're back to you. This time, why don't you try attacking one of my pieces? Try with that machine on your right first. Now move the piece. When performing an attack, you'll be testing your machine's combat power against the opponent's. A machine's combat power is a combination of the terrain your machine is standing on and its own attack power. This board only has grassland terrain, which has no effect on a machine's combat power and your current machine has two points of attack power. So in total, your machine's combat power equals two points. Since my machine isn't the one attacking, it has zero points of attack power. And just like your machine, it's not affected by grassland terrain. So right now, the difference in combat power between the two machines is two points. This means your machine can do two points of damage to my machine. Did you get all that? Yeah, I'm a smart one. Finish. Not pulling any punches, huh? Now grab that second machine of yours. See how your machine can't move close enough to attack mine? You can make your machine sprint. That lets it move one space further. Try it out. The downside to sprinting is that your machine can no longer attack. Now some players like to take a risk and overcharge their machine in cases like this. Overcharging lets you attack after a sprint, but it will damage your machine's health by two points. So use at your own discretion. Let's try doing that now so you can see what I mean. That's about it for your turn then. Now, I'll let you in on a neat trick. That machine of yours, the one closest to me, grab a hold of it. Same as in the wilds, machines have both armored points and weak points. You can see them marked on the pieces. Blue shows where their armor is thickest. Hit them there and you'll do some damage, but not a lot. Now, red shows the machine's weak points. Hit those and you'll deal a mighty blow. Here, let me show you. Rotate that piece so your machine faces mine. Now let that machine have it. Off the board she goes, and there's your first victory points. You don't have seven of them yet, so let's keep going. Your machine attacked mine, but hasn't moved yet. Go ahead and move downwards towards my remaining piece. You've already attacked a machine and moved your piece. But, if you overcharge your machine, you can attack a second time. And by the look of your machine's health, you'd be sacrificing your piece to defeat mine. But sometimes, that can be a good thing. Overcharge your machine to attack mine a second time, and I'll show you what I mean. Ain't that Honestly. a thrill? Now. Because your machine was knocked out at the same time as mine, we both get the victory points our machines are worth. Good news is, since you're the one attacking, you're gonna receive your victory points before I do. Which means you can reach the coveted seven victory points first. That's why sometimes losing a piece can be the best way to end a game in your favor. Now, you'll notice you didn't get quite up to seven victory points this time, but you did destroy all my pieces. That means you're the winner. That wasn't so hard, was it? Just remember to always check for the best terrain to attack from. You'd be surprised the advantage you can gain over an opponent like that. I know it saved my behind in a game or two. I'll try and remember that. Oh, before I forget, these are all my spare pieces. I want the savior of Meridian to have them. It's a small set to be sure, but it should be enough to get you in on any strike games you find out there. You might even fancy looking out for them strike carvers. They've got all kinds of unique pieces that can turn a game in your favor. Though they'll need the right materials to craft you one. Or 
You might find them in the wilds if you're lucky. No, I've lost my fair share of pieces after a night of machine hunting or brew hopping. Oh, no need to thank me. Always a pleasure to help out new strike players. Now, if you feel like playing a real game, I've got plenty of other boards. I could even teach you a few more tricks if you're up for it. Thanks. I'll think about it. Cool. It's, I have two things to say about this. This is basically Horizons Gwent, and um, <laughs> I wonder if they'll make an actual board game of this. This seems cool. Complicated as hell, but cool. I'll see you later, Aloy. Come for that beer after all, eh? Here, sit down. Get a pint in her hand. Wasn't expecting you to swing by. Since when do I do what's expected? <laughs> There's that spark. Fire and spit. Uh, fire and spit. <sighs> That's a blast from the bellows. Won't fix the forge, but at least I can forget about my troubles for a while. Like what? Take your pick. We got bodies to bury from the bristlebacks, the work stoppage, Olven grading the gears about his concession decree. Hey! Weapons off the table! Ah, don't listen to me. Not that a cold brew and knocking some heads together can't fix eventually. So the bristlebacks in the daunt. <laughs> Where did they come from? That's the thing. No one rightly knows. They just showed up one day, rampaging around the valley like they exploded out of a forge. <sighs> Lost some good people. But I heard talk of some vanguards trying to take them down. Did they come through here? Stopped by briefly for supplies. Olvind was none too pleased. Won't be able to crank it to his advantage once the bristlebacks are gone. But how could bristlebacks and the daunt help Olvind? Two words. Concession decree. Since no one knows where the bristlebacks came from, Olvind has taken to blaming the Karja for him. He's hoping to dig up enough old resentments to get a strike going until the concession's signed. This is just his latest attempt. He's been trying to rile up the workers since the day he rolled into town. And people actually believe him? Lots of folks suffered at the hands of the Mad King during the Red Raids. Give him half a reason, they'll blame the Karja for anything. Ah, damn Karja slavers. Huh. I thought you'd be back in Freeheap. Well, after the big battle at Meridian, I went back. But realized it was running smooth. Didn't need me. Heard about the rebuilding out at Baron Light. Figured they could use another hammer. Been scraping by ever since. You could always leave. And go back east? Nah. I ain't one to leave a lit forge. Besides, someone's gotta be a squeaky wheel for the workers around here. Yeah. So about Olvind? Around here, everything's about Olvind. How'd he <laughs> end up in charge? He got here early, like a squirrel smelling a fat nut. He knew rebuilding barren light would need stone and timber. So he jangled purses all over Mainspring, getting investors to front claims on anything in the Daunt that might be worth a damn. Thing is, all the bankers back home know that this is Karja land, and the Sun King can revoke those claims at any time. That's why he's desperate for the Magistrate to sign off on a concession decree. This concession decree, what is it exactly? And how would it help Olvind? It's pig diddle, that's what. A writ that would put all Osram claims in the Daunt under Osram law, even though they're on Karja land. It would mean that any existing ore, stone, and timber claims couldn't be revoked by the Karja. No more risk, no more hesitation for investors back in the claim to pour in the shards and expand their business. And since Olvind has a stake in all those claims, it would make him richer than a scrapper in a junk heap. Not to mention Chainscrape would become an Osram municipality, so he could buy enough votes to call himself an elder man. He's a sly old badger, I'll give him that. Figures if he keeps up the pressure, eventually the magistrate will sign. 
<laughs> well, I, uh, I have to be going. Thanks for the drink, Petra. I'm glad I stopped by. Anytime, flame hair. Oh, it's politics and banks oh, and. Uh, fancy a game of strike. No, I do not fancy a game. I've got things to do. Savior, thank you for taking the time. And my condolences that you had to endure all of us bloviating. I've <coughs> dealt with worse. It sounds like he's really trying to put you over the barrel. The idea that the Karja purposely let Bristlebacks into the dawn, it's, it's completely absurd. But the louder and longer he says it, the more support he'll get for his damned concession decree. <laughs> How did the Bristlebacks get into the Daunt? No one knows for sure. The first report of them came from west of the quarry. But unless they have wings I don't know about, I don't see how they could have come over the mountains. No other way in. The only way I know about is barren light. Look, if you can get to the bottom of this, I can offer a considerable bounty in return. <coughs> Help me shut Alvin up. <laughs> I would totally be down for that. Nothing but a windbag. What is this concession decree that Olvind wants? He wants the Sundom to designate portions of the Daunt as Osaram holdings. Only the portions, mind you, that produce any value. <laughs> Let me guess. Because he stands to profit somehow? Exactly. With the Daunt under Osaram law, he could secure more investment for their numerous ventures. He can't get those investments without the concession? No. Not while there's a chance the Sundom could revoke their access. Hence, why the concession is so important to him. And why blaming the Karja <coughs> for the Bristlebacks, no matter how absurd, works in his favor. Hmm. How does blaming the Karja for the Bristlebacks help Olven get his concession? Look around. This may be the Sundom, but chain scrape is all gears and rust and bad ale claiming that the Karja loosed the bristlebacks in order to intimidate Osaram laborers into obedience well let's just say no one here has forgotten the atrocities of the mad sun king and with the bristlebacks bringing work in the valley to a halt Alvant has plenty of time to pick at barely healed wounds and if the Osaram refuse to work, unless the concession is signed, you won't have a choice. Correct. The reconstruction of Baron Light must continue. <coughs> How did you get stuck out here? I asked for the posting, believe it or not. <laughs> Overseeing the entire valley on behalf of the Sun King? It was an honor. Is an honor, I mean. But your job would be a lot easier without someone like Olvind blasting hot air all the time? Olvind's not going anywhere. He's been around longer than I have. Even fancies himself the founder of Chainscrape. <sighs> well, I'll find a way to live with him. I have to. You said the Bristlebacks were first spotted west of the quarry? Yes, according to one terrified laborer, said the ground trembled before they came charging down the hillside. He took off and ran all the way here. Good place to start looking, then. If you learn the truth, <coughs> maybe Olvind will stop blaming the Karja for every problem under the sun, and maybe then he'll actually focus on rebuilding Baron Light instead. The dude's obsessed with money, man. That reminds me. There's no way in hell that even if we solve this problem, he's gonna concede. Brother! Good looking! So we have an Oscar who had a genius, you know, before it's true. I mean, I don't mind. Shop looks closed. Yep. Can I still use the workbench? I ain't gonna stop you. I get it. All the shops are. All the shops are closed until I solve this. Um...
issue. Throw me in with tape. Hey! See if you have Meridian. Come on over here. I'll come find you later. You wanted to speak to me? Well, you know better than anyone it's a dangerous world out there. And not just against machines. Name's Odur. This here's my training pit. Best place to practice close combat this side of the Forbidden West. Hmm. Say, I wonder who'd win in a fight. You, the savior of Meridian, champion of the East, or the Enduring, master of the West. Who? The Enduring, a legendary Tanakh fighter, the master of masters. I've heard the Tanakh have training pits just like this one. It's how the warriors get so fierce, see? And only the very best from the pits get to train with the Enduring. So, to find the Enduring, I should look for these training pits if I'm ever out that way? You'll have to go far if you do. The Tanakh are split into three clans. Three clans, three capitals, three training pits. My guess is you'd have to beat all of them if you want to train with the Enduring. If the Tanakh don't kill you on sight, that is. But that's yeah. a far spark in the wind. As for right now, I also offer challenges to test your fighting skill. Who would I be fighting exactly? You? Well, I know you're the savior and all, but you have to beat all the others first to challenge me. Rules are rules. We only use dual blades and practice arrows, mind. These drunken fools would run themselves through otherwise. <laughs> you have to leave everything but your spear and practice arrows at the gate. But I'll look after your gear, not to worry. So, what do you say? Up for some training? <laughs> I might be. That's what I like to hear. Training grounds 2.0, everybody. <laughs> Ah, I see. Hey, I thought you'd left by now. So I'll I am. I need. Rather than just needing equipment, I also need skills now. Oh, that is. I've got so many things. That I am not beating this game this week, and that's for sure. <coughs> Which is a shame, because Elden Ring is. Uh, Elden Ring is coming out next week. I bought two You're games. I can. Work, I, see. I bought two games. They were a week apart. Oh. At least um. I have some fun with it. I might let Minecraft do the first look stream. Ask in the water. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, my bow is so much more powerful now. Hello, Red. What a day, what a day. Hmm. Thank the forge you showed up. 
Tripwire's handy, but she hunts a youngin's game. Come on over. Let me give thanks proper like. I see you're a practiced hunter. Took you less time to kill those scroungers than vanguards to kill one bristleback. So the vanguards came through here? Yeah, just a bit ago. Down that bristleback, headed south. But then those scroungers showed up to carve the carcass, as they do. Then another bristleback ran through. I'm telling you, it's crazy around here. So the vanguard went south? Probably. This whole valley is swarming with them. The vanguard seemed dead set on getting rid of them. I see. Hold on there, Red. If you're gonna go chasing across the daunt, you're gonna want a trip caster. Not just any trip caster. One of mine make. Free of charge. Workmanship looks solid enough. Yep. Uh, been tweaking the design since I left Chain Scrape. More room to tinker out here and less chance of, uh, well, accidents. Hmm. Accidents. Did something happen in Chain Scrape? <laughs> well, like someone. Let me guess. Elvind. Back when I had a place in town, I took a real interest in my wares. I kept pressing for the Ulven discount. I said no, he didn't like that so much. I can't prove it, but that chuff bucket set my workshop on fire. Felt it best to put some distance between us after that. Cable car operator told me the bristlebacks just appeared yesterday. Do you know anything about them? How is old Karn? Back in the day, me and him got into all sorts of trouble. There was this one time that... Anything about the bristlebacks? No. Karn said true. He just showed up and ran amok. Lucky for me, I've got you and the Vanguard swooping in time to time to save my backside. I should get going. Thanks for the tripcaster. While you're blasting bristlebacks, I think I'll head down to the hunting grounds. Did you know they have a tripcaster trial? Come by later if you want to try it out. Maybe. After I get things under control. So Aaron headed south. I should be able to pick up his tracks with my focus. Be careful not to run into your own traps. That's, uh... Certainly a change from Zero Dawn because you didn't trip your own traps in Zero Dawn. Anyway. Hunting grounds. Unknown relic. Aaron is this way. I'm gonna try to find him and see what happens. First tracks headed up the hill. My focus can help me follow them. I can get it from my stash later. Oh. Uh. Oh. At least they try to squirrel. Where'd it go? Sometimes it's gonna be a pain in the ass to try and get uh, animal hides and whatnot.
Sounds like somebody's still like playing. Someone's putting up a fight. That's the errand I know. Just a hammer. Just the fight. Aloy? Errand. Bristle back. Those bristlebacks have acid canisters on their backs. It should trigger a chain reaction if I hit them with acid. Air. Jesus Christ. Alright, run away from that! Hi there. times good times more about that later hey Loy. uh you know you might you might have to oh, meet me halfway ah! oh. <laughs> just pop this head oh my god I probably should have picked it uh, up yeah. caught me in my best as usual well you did the hard part. I just took care of the stragglers. How bad is it? Uh, this? Ah, who needs ribs? Huh? <laughs> oh. <laughs> you do. Oh, I'm good. I'm good. Huh. Okay, well, I, I know you didn't come all the way to the Daunt just to watch me get wrecked. But what's the story? I need the embassy to happen. So I can head west. Errand, what I did at the Spire... We did. It didn't end the threat. It just slowed it down. There's still more to do. Really? Well, well that's great. I, I mean, yeah, not the threat's not over part. That's not so great. <laughs> but, but hey, what? Whatever you're up against, your spear, my hammer, just like old times. Oh. Aaron, I need the embassy now. I can't wait for you to heal. Couple of days rest, if that. Actually, even if you weren't hurt, what I have to do, it's... It's better if I do it alone. Alone? <laughs> now that figures. Aaron! I hate to interrupt the romance, but I'm pretty banged up here. I Don't blow your blaze, I'm coming. <laughs> <sighs> This just keeps getting better. Huh. Listen. I'll go to Baron Light, get patched up. If you want this embassy to happen, we're gonna need this sun priest. Studious Wadis. Oh, I know him. 
I'll clear the Valley of Bristlebacks, then send Wadi east to Baron Light. I'll catch up with you there. Well, I guess that's sort of like a goodbye. I'm sorry? You? Sorry? <laughs> oh. Yeah, that'd be a first. Where is this coming from? Hey, just, you know, forget it, yeah. Oh, it's nothing. It sounds like something. All right, fine. Now, after the battle at the Spire, you, you took off. You left without so much as a handshake. I mean, people like me, we fought and bled at your side, Aloy. You just, or you just disappear? What kind of person does that? Aaron, look. I'm sorry it wasn't easy for you when I left. And I know it's not easy now, but... What I've been doing... Life on Earth is in danger, and only I can save it. Life on Earth? Yeah. Everything dies unless I succeed. Well, then let me help. Oh. You can't. There's no machine to fight, no bad guy to kill. What I've got to do, I... I can't even explain it. Not even to people I care about. Oh, so much for being useful. Okay. Aaron! By the forge. <laughs> I guess that's my cue. Maybe I should go with you to Baron Light. No, no, hey, you're needed elsewhere. Obviously. We'll make it without you. I'm just gonna... That doesn't sound good. You'll have to handle that one on your own. We'll only slow you down. Man, that wasn't the happy reunion I was looking for. But it's nice to see Aaron is still alive and kicking. Anyway. Mm, I'm just full, but... My pack has room. I will. What's happening here? There's a lot of things to do. But I'm going to break for lunch. I'm going to cut the stream here. And I'll uh, pick back up in like an hour or so. Because this is. F There's so many things being thrown at me at once, man. They've got Gwent. They've got. Uh, uh, they've got hunting grounds, obviously. they always going to have hunting grounds. And then they've got more than just a regular hunting ground, so. There's. So many things to look forward to. <sighs> but. Where's my quest lock go right now? Um. I've got quite the list going on right now, so. Let's look at my skills. Um. So I probably gotta do this. Let's see. Actually, I can't even see my um, other thing, but I will. Okay. This is cool. All right.
All right. There's a lot of things here that I can look into, but I gotta take a break. So thanks so much for watching Twitch. Don't forget to like, comment, and tell your friends. This has been Alloy signing off. Wait, 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 wait. I'll do it like I did in the other in Zero Dawn. Um, campfire. I need a campfire. Explore those now, uh, or is that a hint that I can explore it? Okay. Um. This is my target. Mighty thankful to you, Savior. Just Aloy is fine. Aaron mentioned you're not one for fancy titles. You're Vanguard. Well, here to escort Bardice is delicate behind to the embassy. If we can get rid of these bristlebacks. Captain said to keep an eye on Chainscrape, then these ugly lugs showed up. Gave the first one a good beating. But didn't quite have time to roll out of the way when it fell. Told you it wasn't a good idea to eat that much before heading out. <laughs> I should probably get going. Now, if you see any more of these bristlebacks... I'll make sure to roll out of their way. Might want to take some of these with you as well. They're handy in a pinch. Thanks. Stay safe, Aloy. <coughs> hey. Oh, smoke box. Cool. All right. Um... Anyway, quick save. As I said, now I'm signing off.